Hey YouTube, I'm Lucky and today I'm going to bring you a video where I'm going to show you exactly what weapons you are going to need to grind for right now during the drought before Trials comes to make sure that you have the meta weapons that are going to be extremely powerful, extremely good and help you get flawless when Trials comes out, which is coming out very soon. It'll be coming out in March it seems like. It hasn't been a f uh, fully announced yet, but it seems pretty obvious that it's going to be out in March because that's when the new season begins. So uh, you have a very short amount of time here to grind for these weapons to make sure that you have the most meta, most powerful weapons as of right now, ready for when Trials comes out. Now, obviously, things will change. The meta will change uh, when Trials comes out because Bungie likes to shift things with time, and they talked about that in the TWAB, and I'm going to cover that and the changes that are going to come out in the, from the TWAB. But before I do so, I want to go over uh, a few things, which is that the meta doesn't drastically change just overnight, and so a lot of the most powerful weapons right now are going to be extremely powerful in Trials. In fact, probably the meta right now will be still extremely strong in Trials, if not very slightly changed. Maybe auto rifles might stand out a little bit, but here we go. Before we get started in this video, I know what you're thinking first and foremost is, damn, you've been working out? And the answer is, oh yeah. I have. But that set aside. The first thing you're going to want to grind for is a spare rations. Uh, make sure you get one of these. I'm not going to go over exactly how to get all these weapons because, you know, uh, it would take a lot longer and I, I don't want to cover all of that. But you'll figure it out uh, through the Reckoning Tier 2. And so I've covered videos on this before. Get yourself a spare rations because in the TWAB they actually didn't make mention of nerfing this archetype of hand cannon. So this will actually be extremely strong, uh, continue to be extremely strong, and you're going to want this weapon leading into the new Trials. Uh, also, the last word is getting a nerf, but... It's so extremely strong right now that even after the nerf, I imagine it will still be pretty good. So make sure if you can, try to get a last word. Maybe you can get one from Xur from his Faded Engram, etc. Uh, for a ranged weapon, Randy's Throwing Knife is like one, my go-to kinetic scout rifle. This thing is so nasty. It fires really fast. You reload, you get kill clip. It increases the time to kill on it. It's awesome. This is an extremely uh, good weapon to get. You get this through Crucible, through Comp, and it's definitely worth your time. It won't take you that long at all to get that. So definitely make sure to get that to have a ranged weapon. If the for whatever reason the first Trials map is a ranged map, this weapon will definitely stand out. I'm almost certain of that. Uh, the Dust Rock Blues is kind of one of my go-to kinetic shotguns. There are a few others that are good, uh, but this one has sort of a moderate fire rate uh, to one-hit kill potential. So I really like this one. There's no kinetic shotgun that has quick draw like Mindbenders. So unfortunately, there's no Mindbenders ambition for the kinetic slot, which is a little bit frustrating, but... You know, it is what it is. So there's a variety of different options you'll see for, you know, really skilled players using shotguns in the connect slot. But for the most part, most good players aren't using shotguns in the slot. But if for whatever reason, there's an extremely strong weapon in the energy slot and you need to use a shotgun in the kinetic, Dust Rock Blues is really strong and really, really fast, really easy to farm for. I've covered videos on that. The Thorn is going to continue to be super powerful. It might even be the meta in the new season because of uh, how... It's good ease of use, uh, how uh, clean it hits, and its perk is so powerful. Like This weapon might very well be the meta. I could see it happening in Trials of Osiris. I could see this being the most used weapon. So definitely try and get a Thorn. Uh, Bygones is an extremely powerful pulse rifle. Definitely my favorite go-to pulse rifle in the kinetic slot. There are a few other different options, and they are nice and all, but this one's so clean for... Uh, a few different reasons one rampage will actually increase the time to kill kill clip will as well but rampage does it with so much ease of use and it hits well it has excellent range you almost will never be out of range except for maybe if you're on like across the map on widow's court for the most part you're going to be well within range so this you don't need those extremely long range pulse rifles and it hits hard and it's just you know if you've tried it or used it if you've seen my 1v3s you know that this thing just absolutely shreds this will definitely be worth your time um, snipers are getting adjusted a bunch, and a lot of people are talking about high-impact snipers. If that is the case, if high-impact snipers are the meta, uh, Revoker will certainly be an option within that because of its perk. It's almost like a baby icebreaker, and it just gets regenerates ammo when you miss, so definitely take the time to get a Revoker. This will certainly be nasty if kinetic uh, snipers are important. And if for whatever reason the Revoker isn't standing out as much, you have Bite of the Fox as another option. Um, obviously, you wouldn't be able to get this by the time of Trials because Iron Banner. But, you know, if you have one lying around like I did, I have a snapshot one. So that's a good roll, and that will definitely do well in Trials. If auto rifles do get buffed a lot, and they're actually extremely powerful, some really good auto rifles will, of course, be Sura's Regime and Monte Carlo. Those two will actually shred, uh, especially with, you know, Monte Carlo will give you your melee ability back, which can be really powerful with a variety of different subclasses. I don't even need to cover which ones, uh, because any subclass that has a really strong melee ability 
will definitely be complemented well by Monte Carlo, as you've seen in so many different clips uh, throughout time in Destiny. And Suros is like my go-to auto rifle. Um, I really like the Suros. So that's everything in the kinetic slot that I think you should grind for. If you have all of this stuff, if you can open up your DIM, your Destiny Manager, and you have all of these weapons with decent rolls, you're good to go. I would say you, you've got a lot. You're ready to go. The next one is going to be Mindbender's Ambition. Although shotguns are getting adjusted where they're not having as much range when you aim down sights, this will still be an extremely powerful shotgun. It's still going to have quick draw on it um, unless Bungie, you know, posts something on the TWAB in the next few weeks. But this is still going to be probably the go-to shotgun in general. Uh, due to its range being nerfed when you aim down sights, it will be as common or as powerful as it was, but it'll still be so strong. And in fact, due to the changes to aim assist, it might even be more consistent at those closer ranges so might even be better in some ways um the beloved sniper has always been the best sniper in my opinion because it has snapshot and quick draw and if you don't know quick draw actually increases the aim down sight speed as snapshot does so they combine together and it gives you the absolute fastest aim down sight speed which is so essential to sniping in destiny because flinch is so prevalent if you can aim down sights instantly and fire on someone's head before they can fire you know a bullet on from hand cannon or auto rifle on you then you won't flinch and you don't have to deal with flinching so that's why sniping is so good and sniping complements fast gameplay and if you can uh quickly aim down sights and quickly snipe your enemy you'll have a much better time sniping than if you're hard scoping and holding the lane and just waiting for them to peek around the corner it's so much more difficult you're gonna get shot you're gonna get flinched it's not gonna work out as well for you so beloved will still be really good even with the sniper adjustments if it isn't then you could definitely go with the high impact sniper uh, the one from the Forge, I don't have it in here right now, but the one from the Forge is really good as well. And that will be a, a more high impact sniper that you can farm for. Um, we've got Symmetry. This is actually one of my favorite uh, scout rifles. It's very similar to the Randy Storing Knife. It's in the energy slot. I wouldn't be using this very much though. If I had, to, if I got a long range map, I would not put on the Symmetry and the Dust Rock Blues. But uh, for whatever reason, if I felt like uh, trying it out or playing with a different variety of style, this is really strong. I didn't want to exclude this, even though this is probably the least meta weapon out of all of these. This is a really strong weapon and can do some pretty crazy stuff. So definitely don't completely sleep on the symmetry, but out of all the weapons here, this is probably the, le the furthest from the meta. Now, the Lord of Wolves. Oh, gosh. Do I need to say any more? This has been such a powerful weapon for so long. I've made so many videos about this. I've destroyed so many teabaggers and won so many 1v3s with this. This is such a powerful weapon, and it is getting nerfed, but they're mostly nerfing the release the wolves part, which means that if you were to not release the wolves, it would probably still be extremely powerful, and that's probably the way people will use it. And it will, because the other shotguns are getting nerfed from their aim down sights range, um, it may still affect Lord of Wolves as well, but even still, this will have the most range and be the most range shotgun, um, maybe besides Chaperon, we'll see. But this thing will still be extremely nasty, and it will still have the decent ease of use to range combination, which... Chaperone has hard ease of use, but it has really good range. But this will, you know, still be pretty easy, I think, to two burst people if necessary. And so Lord of Wolves will probably still be in the mix, so it'll probably still be a part of the meta. Even after it's been nerfed for like the third time in a row, uh, it doesn't seem, I don't think it's going to be completely gone yet. Not Forgotten is really strong still, I think, especially on console. I wanted to throw this in for console players because a lot of times people ask me like, well, these weapons are all good, but what if I'm playing on console? And there's a bit of difference between console and PC. And Not Forgotten, I've been told, is still extremely good and still common on console. So if you can get a Not Forgotten, it'll probably do you well in Trials. This Pulse Rifle is extremely strong. The Outlast, it's a 540 RPM Pulse. So good. Um, I love this roll here. I got Range Finder and Kill Clip. This thing is nasty. It absolutely shreds. If I were to, for whatever reason, need to play on a medium range map, I would definitely consider either using, you know, Symmetry or Outlast and throwing on Dust Rock Blues maybe once in a while because this Outlast is really nasty and, and actually worth using and giving it a try. Uh, this waking vigil is really good and will pair well if you have to use like a kinetic sniper or kinetic shotgun for whatever reason Let's say the revoker is really strong the revoker is the meta and so and so uh, Being used so much in trials due to whatever it may be. It's the meta or the map or how our trials is set up um, Waking vigil definitely complements it really well. Probably one of the better 150s uh, Spare rations obviously is the most common 150 rpm hand cannon you're gonna see and I think that its counterpart in the energy slot would probably be Waking Vigil. There are a few others, but Waking Vigil seems to have the best rolls. So I'd recommend going for a Waking Vigil if you can. Uh, or pulling one out of the vault if you have one sitting there. You probably do because if you've play a, if you been on the Dream City at all, these things tend to drop. So. Um, this auto rifle is nasty. I use this uh, not as a meme, but actually because I think it's really good even right now. So I think after the auto rifle adjustments, this will continue to be really good. In fact, it might even be... Uh, one of my favorite weapons to use because it's so random. You don't really see it that often, but this is really strong. Uh, the Reckless Oracle is from the Guard of Salvation raid. 
Uh, definitely don't sleep on this one. And then Arantil is getting adjusted. It's getting nerfed, but uh, I think that Arantil will still probably be strong. As I've said before, Bungie likes to adjust the meta. I've, you know, I've been playing this game for years and thousands of hours now. They like to adjust the meta, but they don't like to do so in such a rapid place that it feels disjarring where it's like, whoa, hand cannon shotgun was the meta. And now today it's sidearms and snipers. And then, you know, like the next day, like it does happen that those things change, but it tends to be like a process and slow changes. And you see, you know, shotguns slowly go down and snipers slowly come up type of thing. It, I don't think it's going to be a complete flip flop and everything that's good right now is just going to be garbage. And the next day, I think there will definitely be a lot of carryover. And then uh, grenade launchers. I love to use grenade launchers, but machine guns are also really good. Hammerhead, play of the game, are my go-to. Um, people ask me this all the time, what role I use. I use proximity and quick draw. The other perks don't really matter much. But if you have those two perks, this grenade launcher is great. You've seen me use it. I've, I've got uh, great plays with it all the time. And the hammerhead is just a solid machine gun all around. And one you can farm from the forge. And so that's it. Those are all the weapons that I would recommend for you to get. Uh, obviously, I didn't include the, the forge sniper there. Um, but... We have everything here. I'm not going to go over armor. I'm not going to go over everything else because there's going to be more updates coming from the TWAB soon from Bungie. But these are the weapons that I would highly suggest to go and farm. So if you don't have any of these, definitely go out there, get them, look up the names of all of them. I've covered all the names of all of them. You can see them on the screen. Go out there, get those weapons and be ready for trials when it comes day one. So hopefully you can go flawless. And uh, yeah, I'll be streaming it on my channel, twitch.tv slash lucky10p. I hope to see you there. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Smash the like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.